Well, the vice president says she and her new running mate are underdogs in this race, but she says momentum is on their side. Emerging to thunderous applause and a big crowd in Philadelphia, Vice President Kamala Harris formally introduced the man she hopes will be the next vice president, Minnesota governor and former high school teacher and coach Tim Walz. The nation will know Coach Walz by another name, Vice President of the United States. And Walls fired up the crowd, going after Republican nominee Donald Trump and his running mate J.D. Vance with the personal attack line that has galvanized many Democrats. I just have to say it. You know it. You feel it. These guys are creepy and, yes, just weird as hell. On his Truth Social site, Trump responded, saying of the Harris-Walls ticket, this is the most radical left duo in American history. There has never been anything like it, and there never will be again. And using what appears to be a new nickname for Harris, he added, Crazy Kamabla is indeed crazy. The Walls won over Harris in recent days and eclipsed another top contender, Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro. And while Shapiro could have helped deliver a key swing state, his moderate positions and his support for Israel drew fire from the far left. And there were concerns that he would overshadow Harris. Walls is known as one of the nation's most progressive governors, and he is readying for a fight. So we got 91 days. My God, that's easy. We'll sleep when we're dead. And look at the states that the new team is hitting today. Michigan and Wisconsin, the kind of swing states where Harris is betting walls can make a difference. In Washington, Doug Lusader, Fox News.